There are, depending on who you ask, 11 or 12 DCEU films so far. Gotcha. DC, the extended universe, of course, and film. Um, probably not as good as their animated stuff. Certainly stuff not as good as notch. their comics. Yeah, they're top notch with the animated part. Movie wise, well, they're tr- I mean, they're trying. You know, they got a couple more on the way. We have Flash question mark if that's ever going to come out. It we, is going to come out. Is it going to come yeah, out? Okay. Hell yeah. They're going to do extensive reshoots. Yeah. Maybe Ezra Miller still in the movie. I was hyped Michael for Keaton Girl. still in the movie. I was hyped for Batgirl. Batgirl's canceled. Yeah, Batgirl's we gone. have um, a second season of Peacemaker on the way. James Gunn's taken over the DCEU. He's hoping to rein this thing in. My coke buddy. Steer the ship. Yeah. yeah. That's my coke buddy. That's my coke buddy. <laughs> And stuff. He told I, me he's going. He, he's going to do a good job. He's going to do a good job on yeah, this. I think giving, he is. He's giving the finger I think to Feige. He is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Feige. I think Feige's championing him. He's like, listen. Yeah. I, I good think, luck. I think Feige has hit his his road though. Yeah. So I think it's time for the gun. Feige's in a swan song phase. Oh, he's gosh, looking for that one final, dude, he's, one final thing that can put him back because he's on done. top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Things done. have not been going well. Yeah, he's done right now. But yeah, no, I'm I'm down for the gun. I think, in my personal opinion, before we start this, sure. I personally think anything before Gun, we're going to talk about. But anything after Gun, I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a lot better. Yeah, yeah, man. He's going to put his spin on it. Whether he's directing it or anything, I think he's going to definitely put his spin on what he wants. Which is interesting you say that. Because according it. to this list that we have pre-ranked, you got his movie not quite at the top. And it's very true. You are right about well, that. We'll get there. I didn't think about that. When so I was we are going to list these off in the order of release date. Go for it. And then we're going to say where we rank them on our own personal lists. At the number one is, I don't know what year this came out, Man of Steel. I probably should have put the dates. I want to say this came out I think it was 14 like, years ago. Does that seem too long? Man of Steel? Yeah. No, it was 14 years ago? No, I just threw out a, I oh, just threw no, out a year. Though. You don't think it was say. that long ago? You want to no. look it up while I yeah, uh, about to say, let me say my up. piece? Okay, so Man of Steel, the first film in the DCEU, it's supposed to start this whole thing off. Now, it's getting, it's getting started on the right foot because we are fresh off of the Dark Knight trilogy. Some of the best Yo. comic book movie uh, adaptations of all time. Dude, what? you were How pretty ago? fucking close. It's, thir- it's 2013. Okay. It's been, what, nine, nine years Nine years. Ago? Nine years. It's been that long? Yeah. Fuck. It's been I was going to say 2017. It don't seem that long. Uh, we're not young. Damn, I was 32 when that came yeah. out. Yeah. So wild. Yeah. It's a good movie, though. I love that movie. We both have it as the second best DCEU film. Yeah. I'm with him on that one. Man of Steel is really good. I, I thought like, they nailed... Mm-hmm. Henry Cavill. As you the, just took the words out of my mouth. I was saying that was Henry Cavill's coming out party. It was. Yeah, like for real. Because I didn't know who the hell he was before. Then. The dude was a tank. He was huge. Yeah. I mean, he looked just like Superman. I agree. Personality-wise, you can argue he was a little too broody. He was a little too dark. But the movie's not called Superman. It's called Man of Steel. And I think that was entirely intentional. They okay. wanted this to be him... Learning to be the Cape Crusader. Well, if you know about Superman, or is comics, that Batman? Is Batman the Cape Crusader? Not the su- no, is he? I don't know. But he's well, learning to be yeah. the good dude. <laughs> anyway, the point of the matter is, I'm trying to say is that if you know about the comics, and like I said, not a comic geek, but I'm in there a little bit. Sure, he is kind of dark. He's like a company man, but to me, okay, personally, to me, Superman is the weakest out of all of them and stuff. Meaning he could be manipulated so easy by controlling Lois Lane. Sure, if you control Lois Lane, you could control him. You feel what I'm saying? But I like how they did it because they did show the vulnerability of Lois Lane and they did show he can go dark, which he does like like fucking the snap of a damn finger. Well, and to your point, a lot of people, I'm not in that boat. I actually like Superman a lot, but you have to do it correctly. Mm-hmm. The guy can barely be hurt, right? Unless yeah. you have some dumbass kryptonite, he's pretty much invulnerable. Batman kills him all the time, though. Yeah, Batman, yeah. Batman's his I'm own thing. I'm a Batman thing. fan. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, we're both pimps. So in order to make him weak, mm-hmm. you have to put him in situations where he has to choose between people he loves, things he has to save, yeah. etc. And then you can use that to your advantage. So in this, they do a good job because we're constantly seeing him doing this kind of stuff for people. Whether it's a bus sinking into yeah. the water and he has to he has to kind of like show people, oh yeah, I'm a freak. Mm-hmm. You know, I can lift this goddamn bus if I want to an oil rig blowing up. I thought all that was done really well. The only hang up I have with this whole film is how Pa Kent is portrayed by Kevin Costner. He's re- his character is ridiculous. Like you didn't no one, no one's gonna 
appreciate you. You know, they're all going to use you. And then how he, like, tells him not to save him when the tornado comes. I was going to mention like, that scene. come on. Like, it's so, it's a bridge too far for me. You didn't catch a tear, though, when he was, like, about to do it and he said, I, I thought that was pretty powerful. It was man. it was definitely emotional. That was pretty powerful. But like the context around it was just kind of silly. You know what was so silly is like what a ten five years later he how I'm Superman. Yeah. Dude, you could have did that right then and there. Exactly. That's, <laughs> what the, that's right why the there. context is silly. Yeah, it's you like, you could have did that like right then and there, man. How long are you gonna that. keep this a secret for? Yeah. I mean, and but I think what makes it so powerful is uh Snyder did a great job casting. You got mm-hmm. Kevin Costner who's like all American dad, like yeah. he's a guy that just he, you know he emotes. He's a man's man. Yeah, he is a man's yeah, he's man. He's a man's man. Uh, you have what Diane Lane he's the as uh, as the mother. She's yeah. great. What's her name? Martha. Yeah, it's Martha. Why'd you say that name? <laughs> say it again. Why'd you say the fucking name? <laughs> Dude, I can't wait till we get to that movie. <laughs> uh, and then you even have like Emmy Award winning or Golden Globe Academy Award winning uh, Amy Adams as Lois Lane. That was Lois Lane, right? Yeah, yeah. Lois Lane. More like Lois Lame. She. Oh, She's not she great. About she doesn't seem to yeah. want to be there in any of those movies. But I do love yeah. Amy Adams regardless. So, yeah, Man of Steel. Uh, another thing people have a problem with in this film is the amount of destruction he causes. He's blowing through. Bro, he's blowing through he IHOPs. Takes over everything. He destroys, yeah, I like, agree. city blocks. I don't have a problem with that. I wanted to see Superman go toe-to-toe with Zod, like, freaking uh, Super Saiyan mode, blowing through buildings. Again, it's called Man of Steel. It's not called Superman. So he's still coming into his own. He's not like the guy that like smiles and saves cats and trees. Mm-hmm. He's fucking blowing shit up. But I want, I want to ask you a question. Go for it. What do you think the casualty number was of kids and children? Astronomically high. It had to be. Astronomically <laughs> high. Be. It had to be, yo. Because he was like running through things. That's why oh, Batman yeah. was so pissed yeah. off at him. Yeah. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and we'll get to that film. Yeah. That, that's the highlight of that movie for, for sure. But, um, it's a good movie though. <laughs> I liked it because, like, the alternative was what? Zod kills everybody on the planet? You know? Can somebody correct me if Zod does turn into Doomsday in the comics? Because I purchased Superman Dies. I remember when it came out, it was like 70 bucks. I remember I bought that. And it came with the whole banner and everything when, Do- when Doomsday kills him. I don't know anything don't about remember- the comics. Yeah, I don't remember. Clearly. If- yeah, I don't remember if-, if in the comics if Zod does turn into Doomsday. But... I thought Zod was good. Um, I thought Man of Steel was a really good movie. I thought the casualty count probably was enormous. And it was a good setup to yes. the next movie. Which shouldn't have happened yet. But yeah. yeah, I cannot believe... We were looking over the dates of releases and the order. I cannot believe Batman v Superman Came is the, the next second one. movie in the DCEU. This is insanity. This movie Bro, should be like eight movies deeper. Yeah, but that's all, that's all that's a that's a plus and a negative. Do I give to DC? The plus I give to DC is they give you everything, unlike Marvel. Sure, that's a plus. Sure. But the negative is sometimes their timing is way off. Yeah, their timing is way off. They should have definitely built that up more. Uh, I do agree to that. Where is this on your ranking out of twelve movies? We got you at the eight spot. Yeah, for Batman. me, was, I'm at the eleven. I'm almost yeah. at the bottom. And the thing is, I don't like. Yeah, I kind of do hate this movie. I didn't even see the director's cut. I kind of do hate the director's cut or whatever it's called, the extended cut, the ultimate edition. Who cares? Like, it's no better in my eyes. It just, it just like explains things a little further, mm-hmm. but it also makes the movie even longer. I don't want a longer version of this Dude, film. I put it this way: I never forget the line my friend told me when we was in the movie when we, when we got out the movie theater from seeing that. He said, "When I saw Batman as a kid." Start ascending. I knew this movie was gonna be trash. Batman or Superman? No, from BV, uh, Batman vs Superman. Remember at the beginning when he had the dream and he was in the cave. Remember the Batman? Oh, that's Batman? right. He, like, he started ascending. Oh, My friend, yeah. I never forget. He said that's the only <laughs> thing I remember from that night. He told me. He said, "Dude, when I saw that, I knew this movie was gonna be trash." Yeah. And damn it, was it not? It was long as hell and nothing. I mean, it was nothing. It was pure nothing. It's then, such a then the Martha dr- thing, I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> I was like, what? It's such a dire movie. Do you you know, it's it's so bleak. Do you bleed. You will. <laughs> you will. <laughs> I love that line. I you will. Like, you will. It, it's just he, he kind of looks like a dumbass too, with yeah. the mask and the glowing eyes, like a transformer. Bro, it was definitely like, come on, man. I know the, the Martha thing yeah. threw me off too. Though I was like. That's what y'all had in common? That's, yeah. Like, that's what y'all had in common? That's, like, the, that's thing. the thing y'all had in common? <laughs> well, not only that, but Batman, right? Master Detective didn't look into this guy at all to find out who Bro. his parents were on Earth? Nothing. I mean, Zero. come on. Who He's, directed this? That's Zack Snyder. That's Snyder? Yeah, he did uh, He did a lot of the... He either had a hand somehow in the early stuff. Like, what's whether he was directing him? or producing. Snyder? Yeah, what's your thoughts on him? 
Um, I think that he is a fantastic director, uh -huh. and he has an amazing eye for visuals. Okay. I think he's really bad at writing scripts. I agree. I think he's more hit or miss. I don't know a script that he's written that I liked. Only I'm gonna be honest with y'all, yo, and it's on this list. Yeah. Is the one movie that's on this list in 300. What else did he... 300 is like a top 50 movie for me. But, I fucking yeah. love that movie, but he didn't write it. He didn't write it. He that, directed right? he it. He directed it. Okay. He also directed the Dawn of the Dead remake. What'd you think about I that? I love that movie. That's a good one. Love that movie. That's a good one. Uh, I think James Gunn wrote that. Really? Yeah, I believe so. It's the gun, man. It is the gun. It's the gun, man. And then he My did a movie that I don't like at all, which I do think he wrote. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on all this. Um, he did Sucker Punch. I've never seen Sucker Punch. Visually, like, orgasmic. Story-wise trash? Storyline trash. You you would like Sucker Punch because it's like a bunch of hot chicks okay. just looking hot and oh. doing cool stuff. What are you trying to say? I'm saying you're, you're, you like to oh. look at women. Oh, okay. I appreciate that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've been married yeah. for a thousand years, oh, so that's cool. sh that okay. ship has failed yeah. for me. He, 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 I, I live through bless. He lives through me. In all, in all ways. <laughs> um, stuff. Sucker Punch. I'm and then, to ask you this. I always wanted to ask you what you thought about Snyder. Yeah. So I, I like Snyder as, okay. a, as a visual director. I think he's great, but from yeah. a storytelling standpoint, I think he's just terrible. Did you like the zombie one he came out with? No, I hated that. And I was really looking forward to it because of Dawn of the Dead. But he wrote it. That's the yeah, problem. I he like wrote it. No, it was so bad. Here's the thing. That premise is awesome. Make the movie the... Um, what I thought they were going to do is I thought the whole thing was going to be like, okay, it's Ocean's Eleven. Okay. They're going to set up this awesome bank heist. They're going to run in. And in the first, like, let's say 40 minutes, there's uh -huh. no zombies at all. Nah. Okay. They go in. They get to the safe. They actually execute the mission. And then on the way out... It's zombie Bedlam. central, yeah. It's chaos. Zombie central. It's like, yeah. that's the twist. Not this like weird shit where yeah. there's these government hybrid zombies yeah. and then they box them in. Yeah, no. And then the pregnant Garbage. zombie? Oh. There's the so zombie, much. The zombie robot feelings? zombies? Yeah, yeah. Did the you robot see the zombie? robot zombies? Yeah, the pregnant zombies. What is happening? The, first of all, they have, where was the semen coming from? I don't know. What is anything coming from? Yeah. <laughs> I like how that's your question. Yeah, like, that's a good question. Like, uh, what? What? Yeah, how did he get pregnant? What's the mix here? Yeah, where did he, he's dead. Like, They also did one other one, and I'm blanking on it. Oh, Watchmen. He did Watchmen. Okay. I'm going to be totally honest with you about Watchmen. Yo. I never forget this. When I first saw Watchmen, all I can remember was the big blue penis. I knew you were going to go there. Yeah, that's the, big the, only blue thing, the yeah. big blue penis is the only thing I can remember yeah. from the first one. But when I watched it again, like years later, I thought it was a good movie. When I first watched it, I thought it was trash. When I watched yeah. it again years later, I watched it and I was like, damn, this is actually a good movie. I think it's what it was is because of uh, who's the dude whose face changes? Um, Rorschach? Rorschach. Rorschach. Yeah, Rorschach was the yeah. one who saved that movie for me. I only watched it once. Again, visually beautiful film. I didn't, I didn't really... Did you like the TV show? I thought it was kind of tedious. I liked the show a lot, actually. But good. Snyder had nothing to do with the show. Yeah, yeah, the show was good. And I don't think the... Who did the... Is it... I'm, I'm blanking on the guy that wrote it. I think it's the same guy that did Sin City in 300. You like Sin City? I do. I like Sin City. Oh, yeah, it's cool. But that's one of the boring. movies where the trailers are way better than the film. That, that was trailer boring, was fantastic. Get Jessica up, Alba... Man. Just got I mean, come on. Yeah. Like the get up, old man. Come on, old man. Get I love up, it. Man. I got a bum ticker. Yeah, come on, get up, make old you man. roar. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't get into Sin City. All right, so Batman that. v Superman, it's a slog. It's bloated to yeah. hell and back. You have. It's horrible. Man. What is it? Doomsday comes out in the third yeah. act. He looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on yeah. crack. Uh, Lex Luthor, bizarrely played by Jesse Eisenberg. Ah, ha, ha, I love bringing people together. Yeah, it was it trash, just, bro. The it red peeps are coming. Yeah, it was bad, man. I, I, and I remember uh, a friend of mine, the same guy who I went with, he fell asleep. How do you not? It's like yeah, three hours he fell long. asleep through it. My it litmus bad. test for a movie like this is how much will my son, who's 10, uh -huh. love it? Yeah. My son doesn't even want to watch BBS because yeah, it's, it's so bad, boring it's and bad. there's just no joy in it. There's no, yeah. and again, that's okay if you want to go really dark and brooding, but you got to go way down the line. This is the intro to yeah. Batman. It's the first time the Man of Steel is now Superman and he's already kind of like bitchy and pissy at the world for not like treating him nicely. I don't know. I don't like the way they introduced Flash in there either. Remember when he came? Flash is in there? Remember when he came? No, he's he in the cameo. Him? He's just a cameo in like the camera. But no, 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 no. Didn't he come and uh, warn him beforehand? Remember? He came <laughs> and he warned right. him. Yeah, <laughs> he was saying something like protect Lois or Lois is the answer. Oh my God. And that God. was supposed to lead up to the whole point of 
yeah, Superman yeah, yeah. becoming bad. I have a really funny story. It's really quick. Um, I've told some people on here they've heard it, but you haven't. It's really funny. I Tell went to me, that I movie. Yeah, I went to that movie. Tell me the story. Tell me the story. Are you ready for this? I can't wait for the strap story. In Tell me the story. Strap on. I'm listening. I went to the theater with a few people, including my brother, who we don't see movies with often. Yeah, um, friends? Not really. I'm just okay. making that part up. That's but cool. my brother was there. Yeah. Anyway, it's the scene where Bruce Wayne is on the computer, like looking yeah. at the perfectly labeled folders that for some reason, <laughs> where, you know, like they had like icons know, exactly and everything. What you're talking about all this top secret. Yeah, there's like Wonder Woman <laughs> icon folder. And, ah, yeah. um, he goes, music. so he goes to the bathroom because he's like, oh, this will be a boring scene. I can go quick. He's yeah. just on the computer. It instantly jump cuts mm-hmm. to that post apocalyptic nightmare vision that he has, yeah. where Batman's in a duster and he's got a machine gun. That makes no sense yeah, until you watch there's, it later there's on. Aliens coming. My brother comes back into the theater to that and he's uh-huh. like, What did I miss? I'm like, I don't know. Like, yeah. not, it is so funny because he's like, What is the context of this scene? I'm like, Dude, they didn't give us any. You know, so while they give you that context like five movies later. Yeah. They don't tell you in that movie at all. What I just say, they give you everything, terrible timing. It, it's because the terrible writing timing. is ass. You cannot set films up, you can't set stories up like this mm-hmm. in a movie. I mean, when you have a comic book series or even a book series, I guess, you can foreshadow things. It, it works. But in film, no. Yeah. It's got to be or it's got to be structured better. I agree. Mainly because you don't know if you're ever going to get to tell that story in film. And look what happened with Snyder. Okay, this is what I think about DC right now, right? This from us having this conversation. Yeah. I personally think DC throws shit on the wall. Yeah. And they, if it sticks, they're going to focus on sure. everything on that. But they have no, like, substance. They're just trying to throw it, throw right. it, throw it, throw right. it. To be honest with you, to be totally honest with you, <laughs> Marvel did the same thing until Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. They threw a lot I of just, shit on I disagree. They threw a lot of shit on the wall. I'm not, like, a Marvel think fan about boy, it now. but I just don't agree. Think about it, though. Okay. When Guardians of the Galaxy came out, Look how the whole Marvel uh, formed around Guardians of the Galaxy when it came to storytelling well, and comedy. I feel DC was looking for the same thing, but they just didn't know what to go with. I'll agree with you as far as a tone goes, yeah. but as far as the stories and the characters and the arcs go, I think that they did have that planned out. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to get the Avengers assembled by the fourth or fifth movie. We're going to oh, introduce... That, I agree. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. DCU doesn't even do that correctly. Not yeah, correct. the tone in the MCU has completely shifted from a more gritty, realistic Iron Man one to, to now Thor doing comedy. Yeah, to now like Thor's a stand-up comedy. Fraggle now. Rock or yeah, some this shit. Yeah, is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, yeah, I agree. But you see what I'm saying though? Like, oh, DC yeah, is definitely I, yes. throwing shit on the wall. Absolutely. But I don't think I think I think they ran out of shit though, and I think they're finally yeah. Now, they now they're the like, we got to get gun. Yeah, we got to bring get him gun. in because it's over. Bringing the gun, dude. It's yeah. over if yeah. not. Okay, we've spent a lot of time on two movies so far. It's a good conversation. It is a good conversation. Good conversation. And I love the story you told me. Did can you like t- that? I can't wait to tell him the story. Can again. you tell that to your other black friends? Oh, I cannot wait. As soon as I get to the barbershop, I'm going to tell them. <laughs> the barbershop. The barbershop, I'm going to tell them, yes. <laughs> barbershop in the DMV. Hey, uh, Zion, I have a yeah. story to tell you. <laughs> I have a story to tell you, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> I have a story to tell you, sir. <laughs> Next up on the list, Suicide Squad. This is the... Non, non James Gunn. This is so. What are we? Some sort of Suicide Squad? See, I like that. Yeah, one. you think this I, movie slaps? Yeah, I thought Will Smith carried they did it. that with the Will Smith. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, low hanging fruit. You know what? That was wrong. You rank this over that. as your third favorite DCEU. This is in the top three for you. Will Smith. Wow. Will Smith carried that movie, man. Wow. He really carried it. See, I'm a Will Smith fan. I think Will Smith is really good for certain movies, and I think he really carried that movie. I agree wow. that Will Smith's fantastic in movies. You didn't like him in Suicide Squad? Though? I did. I just he didn't like. It. I didn't like Suicide Squad, and also Margot Robbie. Margot I mean, Margot you want to talk great. about carrying a movie? Let me ask you a question: Do you like Margot Robbie better in this, or do you like Margot Robbie in the other Suicide Squad? Which one's more entertaining? Um, I like her look in this mm-hmm. more than her look in the James Gunn version because she's wearing little in this film. I thought she was way more entertaining and not over, like not overly comedic. And this one compared to the other one where she had the whole segment to herself. And we'll talk about that. I thought Margot Robbie was going in and out of accent in this film. I think she was having a hard time landing some of the comments. Like there's a line in it that I think is just dreadful where she says, we're the bad guys. It's what we do. And just how she says it is so unnatural. It doesn't sound very. Where's she from though? What do you mean where's she from? Like, where's she from? Is she, oh, in real is she life? American? Yeah. Uh, she's from Australia, I think. Oh, she's from Australia? I think so, yeah. Marco Robbie might be Australian. Margo. Oh, Margo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause we totally Not got Marco. 
Marco. Marco, <laughs> Marco Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be Mark. That was Margo. Margo. Yeah, that was Margo. She's going to be Barbie. Yeah. Could, oh, she is for real? Yeah. They're doing a Barbie movie? Yeah, Barbie. She's Barbie and Ken is uh, Baby Goose. Oh, shit. Um, what's his name? I wonder who the I always call him Baby Goose. Name. I always forget his real name. Interesting. Oh, my Very God. What is his name? Ryan Gosling. Oh, Ryan Gosling's yeah. in it? Yeah. He's I like Ken. Him. I love Ryan he's Gosling. He's Ken. Ryan Gosling's Yeah, he's fantastic. Show amazing okay suicide squad here's the problem i have with it i ranked it 10 it's very low on my list Mm -hmm. almost at the bottom my son loves it he's 10 by the way see you and my 10 year old have a lot in common for taste yeah i don't this isn't a compliment right now oh really this is like an underhanded compliment this is what white people do no i think think it's good it's an insult right to your face without you knowing it (laughs) (laughs) we're devious i I had a joke but uh, (laughs) i'm gonna keep that one yeah you keep that keep that one yourself um (laughs) It's just a shit show. Like, the editing is so frantic, so yeah. helter-skelter. There are, I think, ten songs in the first mm-hmm. three minutes of that movie. Everything's a montage. Nothing gets any time to breathe. And it just... Fo- the story is so ridiculous. Amanda Waller assembles a team of dumbasses... But she always does. ...to take on a threat that she created. Mm-hmm. You know, like the ninja? The ninja? Who's the girl? Yeah, always had that one the, ninja. The in Asian there. chick yeah. that's in it for, like, three minutes? Katana? Katana, yeah. You want to know the intro to her character? Do you remember it? Uh uh-uh. I gotta watch it again. She walks onto the plane, and Rick Flagg says, This is Katana. She traps the souls of her fallen into her sword. She does. That's the character development for this. And yeah. every character is the same. It's like, though. this is dead chat. He's the best at, at, at shooting people. <laughs> it's just so I still, poorly this one, written. That one caught my attention way more than the other one. Like, and I was definitely like, this is way better. This movie's like Black Adam to me, where it's just bad across the board. But, but, you know it's, but it's fun at mm-hmm. the same time. It's quick. It's like, uh, it's drinking a NOS, which is what I'm doing right now. It's terrible for you. There's not a good ingredient in it. I even asked you that. I was like... Did you drink that? But damn it, I still like it. Can you tell the people how many times I saw Black Adam before we get to Black Adam? I don't know if I want to. Okay. Is it three? It's three times. You did go a third. It's an amazing movie. You did go a third. No, I saw it on bootleg the third time. Okay, the third yeah. time you said, you I know what, I've, I've given them yeah. enough money. This time is this on time me. I saw it at home. All right. Yeah. This time it's on them, I should it's say. It's on them, yeah. But uh, Black Adam was amazing. What did you like so much about Suicide Squad besides Will Smith? <sighs> was it the terrible effects? No, it just kept my attention. Or the poor setups and No, writing? I thought, okay. get out of here. No. <laughs> I thought it, no. I thought the story was good. I thought the acting was good. I thought the acting was way better in that Suicide Squad compared to the other one. Wow. And it was shorter too, if I'm not mistaken. It was definitely shorter. It's definitely shorter it's because definitely they shorter. cut that fucker up. And I don't like Superman, so it definitely. I like the fact that they had Deadshot in the Superman. You like the light there. beam generic thing down from the sky, gonna destroy everything. Dude, I just like the movie. Yeah. It was amazing. I, okay. It was am- How did you not like that one? You like the other I just movie? listed off all wild. the re- I listed legit reasons you for did not. Legit yeah. Reasons. All right. Number the the next movie to come out is Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot. The first one, right? Gal yeah. Gadot. Some people say Gal Gadot, but I believe it's pronounced I with like that the first harsh one. T. Gal Gadot. We're right next door to each other with that one. We are right next... We're neighbors. Yeah, uh, we're you gave door. it the four spot. I actually gave it the three. It's in my top three. I like the whispering at the end. That was tight. And I wouldn't even say it's an amazing movie. It's just the DCEU movies aren't very good. So this is top for me. I didn't like the model shots. What do you mean the model shots? Okay, what I mean is that they kept on showing her walking with the hair going up and they played the fucking music behind it. That was getting annoying to me. I don't know if they do that in that. They definitely do it in they that. Do, she does not have that like... Yes, they the do. Eclectic Bro, chanting. When they, yeah, <laughs> no, they that's do. That's a Snyder thing. No, they definitely do in that one. It's when been she, a while since they've dude, seen it. Watch it again when she's on the um, battlefield and she's walking through. They definitely. Oh, the do no it in man's that land one. shot. They definitely that, do it in that. That one. maybe you know she was pregnant during that. Really? Yeah. This, you but know she's so tiny. Right? Is it yours? I didn't want to tell you. Oh, about okay. That, but I know how. It's probably it. somehow. It's probably um. Sorry. Who's that? Sorry, I tell you about that. Who's that fucker that gets all the women in Hollywood? Who's like a skinny. Oh my god, what's his name? Who? The SNL dude. Oh, you talking about him? Yeah. Hell it's no. Probably he his is. kid. <laughs> you think it's his kid? I forgot his dude, name. He gets low hanging fruit yeah, chicks. I bro. forgot his name. He gets like the ones well, that low hanging like, fruit. Bro, he gets the he, he gets like, with, like the top tier. The top tier of cokeheads, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the top tier of cokeheads. Pete <laughs> Davidson. Yeah, thank Pete you. Pete Davidson. Thank you, oh, Chad. Gosh, no. Batman for this. He save. gets the ones you gotta get an SCD test afterwards. I saw a hilarious <laughs> thing. Uh, it was like Dua Lipa. You know her, the singer, the pop singer. No. Oh, she's a smoke show, but she's oh, always she? wearing like very little and dancing around. And I saw a funny comment. They're like, this is Pete Davidson's final boss. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. No, bro. Oh, gosh. No. We gave uh, him way too much credit. So we liked Wonder Woman um, besides some of the slow motion model shots, like you said. I The weak spot for me was the the team that she gets. The, uh, I don't know, like the regular battalion of guys. They're all kind of like one dimensional, like... I'm a sniper, but I don't like sniping or some shit. Fun fact and fun quiz, actually. Actually, a quiz. Oh, I would love this quiz. Who is the guy? I think he was Spanish in that one. Was he Spanish or French? Can't tell you. We, okay, the one guy with the most... French, I'm going to guess. He was French. Okay, he was French. Yeah. Who, you know who that was, right? No. It's the guy from The Boys. That's Frenchy. Oh. I'm no, almost sure. Really... Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm almost sure that's Frenchy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm almost sure that's We get a t-shirt that says, correct me if I'm wrong. wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then on the back, you say, you're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. That is Frenchy. Yeah, that's Frenchy. Okay. Um, It looked good, though. I love the look of it. You can tell that Snyder had a big hand in the visuals. It had his stank on it. The Wait, slow Snyder motion. Did that one too? He produced it. Oh, okay. But I can just tell he was heavily invested. There's some yeah. beautiful slow motion. There's uh, some really crisp visuals. I love all the action in this film. It definitely mm. reminded me of Man of Steel in a lot of ways. Without that kind of grimy filter that Snyder loves to put over things. Yeah, I thought it was good. I yeah, it was it's, it's good. just a clean, polished look. Uh, Gal Gadot was again, like wonderfully cast as the character. And when she came out in BVS, it was like, oh, I don't know about this bitch. But here, yeah. sold. Patty Jenkins, I don't know what happened in between this and Wonder Woman the second, but mm. she nailed it the first time. I also like it because Ann Wolf was in it. Ann Wolf? Ann Wolf. Who's she? Ann Wolf was a famous female boxer. And she's a trainer. Well, she doesn't, I don't know if she still trains, but yeah, she's a famous female boxer. Look up she Ann was Wolf. The, oh, she had like one scene maybe? Yeah, in the she movie? was one of the Amazons. Okay. Yeah, she was in that one and she was in Justice League. Robin too. Wright is amazing in that too. Robin Wright, she's like the main, um, I don't know the character's name. Oh, yeah, name. I know you're talking about. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, but no, when I saw Theseus Ann Wolf in there, or some, they all have yeah. like, you know, those interesting names, those Amazonian names. All right, let's go to the five spot, not our ranked five spot. Justice League, the Whedon cut. Justice League, as some people call it. You put it in the nine spot, and guess what? What'd you have in Now we're living together, because I'm in the nine spot as well. Yeah, that was horrible. We're not neighbors anymore, we're roommates. Yeah, that was horrible. That was horrible. I, here's the thing. It's bad. No, it's horrible. It looks bad. It's horrible. But it's only like an it's only like an hour and fifty long. It's not even I don't even think it's two hours long. If it is, it goes fast because there's so much story to tell. This is this this to me is exactly like Suicide Squad. Where really? there's just a ton of shit thrown at the wall. Nobody has any time to like develop as characters, and they're just trying to get to the end line. They're like, we gotta get to the finish. That's a good I mean it's a shitty movie, but it's a shitty movie, but it's no an, blood, actually it's a shitty it's movie. It's an easy movie to watch because it's just noise. It's just kind of dumb, lame jokes, Joss Whedon jokes, uh, punchy colors, and, you know, you, you have a really bad CG mustache taken I thought, off. <laughs> I thought Stephen Wolf was horrible. Stephen Wolf is horrible. Stephen Wolf was horrible. He's a terrible, he's a yeah, generic villain. Character motivations are nowhere to be found. You have that awful, like, digitally removed mustache scene, and I totally get why Whedon put it in, because when we get to the Snyder Cut, well... Snyder killed off Superman at the end of BVS. One of the dumbest decisions ever conceived yeah. in any movie. Uh, that was a, that's like a star player. And we know he's coming back because he shows it at the end of the same film with the dust coming off of the, the casket. Bro, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, what we, why? Why? I, I, the main reason I don't like that Justice League is the way he did Cyborg. They no. gave Cyborg like no play. Before I, before I lose my point, the, the the reason Whedon added that scene where he's on the phone, you know, mm-hmm. and he had to take off the mustache, it was so important to him because up until that point, we didn't see Superman be Superman. He never did a damn thing for people outside mm-hmm. of BVS when he's like, you know, flying over the rooftops and yeah. people are like reaching up like he's God. It didn't feel though like a friendly Superman. It felt like, ugh, I gotta it's, save this it's, bitch it's now. Superman, like yeah. these ungrateful people, like I'm saving the NASA rocket. I'm so he has Irish that man. one shot where the, he's talking to a boy or a person on the street and he's very kind of stoic and he's like, yeah, I'm smiling, I'm happy, my mm-hmm. mustache is in here. And that's the reason he put it in. And it makes sense because when we get to the Snyder Cut, you don't have it at all. And he just comes back and he's once again kind of a, a, a pissy guy. I personally don't like Superman, dude. I yeah, know. I know. I, I know. can't stand Superman. Let's get back to your point, though. You said something about Cyborg. Oh, they didn't give Cyborg enough uh, play in that one. Yeah, they nothing. Did, yeah. They didn't build his character up or nothing no. in that one. They like, cut all zero. of his They cut all of his They was just like, hey, I'm Cyborg. I'm here. Okay, I'm going now. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was it. Yeah. Um, 
Otherwise, it's just kind of nothing. It reminded me of a Sunday morning cartoon. Like you just watch why, it, you get why, through it. Why would you? Why would you disgrace such a? <laughs> Dude, that shit is like something you torture somebody with. Like you, you make them watch it again. Like, oh it's gosh. in my nine spot. Dude, I didn't. I don't horrible. like it. We're, we're we're tied in where we put it. Yeah, I'm but just I love Saturday that. morning cartoons. Yeah. Oh, I said Sunday morning. Oh gosh, Sunday's where Sunday they put morning. the worst stuff. Yeah, they put the good stuff. Yeah, exactly. Cartoon. All right, uh, back to back. Then we go to Zack Snyder. Is that really? Oh, this isn't... Okay, so the Snyder Cut version of Justice League, I put here, this isn't actually what came out next. That was way later, but we're yeah. just going to have them back to back just to discuss them. We're right next door now, actually. All right, so you have it at the fifth spot, and I have it at the fourth. Yeah. I'm very generous to this movie because, honestly, I don't ever want to watch it again. Really? It's Dude, like I thought it it's was like, good. Is it four hours it's long? It's four hours long. Okay, it's way too long. I saw it long. twice. Way too long. I saw eight hours of my life was today. Since it's kind of broken up into chapters, Snyder obviously realizes, all right, people are going to get kind of fatigued, so mm-hmm. I'm going to give them nice places to stop watching. I appreciate that. Respect that. If I were him, which I'm not clearly, because he decided to keep this in, I would burn that entire last 30 minutes out of the mind of everyone. That was so embarrassing what Wait, he man, added. You, that, you saw about the part where they show the Joker and then they show the whole... Yes. That was some of the worst shit I've ever seen on a film. Dude, I thought that was good if they would have continued it It from another movie. It was so bad. No, man. I thought that was good. All in front of a green screen. Everything was just so off. You have fucking, like... Well, who, who's Aqua Girl from Aquaman? I don't know. Uh, Johnny Depp's was. ex. Yeah, I know playing, what you're talking yeah. about. Mur- Murma or something. Yo, that is her. Murma. Yeah. That's someone like, I lost my name. Murma or, or Mina or something. She's there. She's got, like, crustacean armor and, like, a, like a spear gun thing. Uh, it was just Aquaman even on that part? Batman, no. Batman's no. got the duster on again. And it just, it was so awful. Like, why are you still dressed up as Batman at that point? Yeah, everybody knows who the fuck Who the fuck are you? F- well, yeah. it's, the, it's broad daylight. It's You're not scary. Never. That's the other thing with Snyder is Batman only works at night. It just, full stop. He's yeah. supposed to be a scary creature of the night that yeah. that puts fear. But he was in the desert that time. And yeah, he's in the out. desert in the middle of the day wearing a duster and he's still and got he his... Thing. It looks hot outside too. But, <laughs> but, just can't. you see the connection though? <clears throat> Batman what? versus Superman when he was in the duster and then you yeah, see that. I know the that's where he was trying to get, but it didn't add yeah, anything. I think they should have just focused on that movie and did everything else. I just yeah, that would have been good. I God no, because it looked like he used the same everything from that zombie Vegas movie that we were talking about. It looked very similar. You know, well, if we're going that route, that's like uh, the phone movie we saw. The phone movie. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Or, you, the black look, phone. If you look at black phone and look at sinister. It's the same fucking Yeah, background. exactly. It's, it's the, the same. The damn cinematography, background. everything. It's the same, the same damn thing. It's but the that's same not thing. the only part in in the Snyder cut that I'm talking about burning to the ground. I would burn that flash. You scene. have like three scenes in a row. So the movie actually ends very nice. You have mm-hmm. that uh, heroic shot where they're on top of the dam or whatever they're yeah. on, where they're all posing. Nice fade to black. Yeah. But then we have 30 more minutes, maybe 25 ish. Fades back up. Now we see Bruce Wayne, who looks almost like unhealthy now because they clearly shot this more modern. Yeah. Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck's in his, uh, one of his many, I don't know, ho- homes out in the middle of nowhere on the lake. And Martian Manhunter comes down. He's like, I forgot about that. Hey, remember I was, I was disguised as Martha for God knows what reason earlier in the film. There is a lot of scenes. I'm in back, there. baby. I'm going to need you again. Like, and then the next scene, they show the desert. I think there's one even in between that. Which is the Deathstroke, or whatever that character's name is. The What was the point of that last part? I then? know! Because he wanted to build up all this shit, even though he knows he's not going to get to do it. So, so he's basically just, like, just threw it out there to throw it out there. It was there. just for him, I guess, in like the super hardcore Snyder cult. But yeah, that made a, no sense. There's a scene on the yacht, remember? Yeah, Lex, when he Lex, Lex Luthor's yeah. on the yacht, and he's like, ah, oh, ha ha, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Well, I don't care about all that. Oh. I just like that one scene, man. That one scene where they finally show... Superman's bitch ass, and he's angry, and he wants the world, and he's like, oh my gosh, there he goes. Like, that was good. Okay, so let's talk about the things I like, because I just bitched for like 20 minutes about the ending. I did think the storyline was far better in the Mm -hmm. Snyder Cut. Yeah, 100%. Um, Besides the bizarre 4x3 aspect ratio. Why did he do that? He said for IMAX or something like that? No, there's no reason. Any People can defend it all they want. It's dumb as fuck. He made some really bad choices, but regardless of all the hangups they have, that's why I'm saying like this isn't my four spot, but I don't really like any of these movies very much outside of maybe the one and two. 
Um, I did was. like the character development finally for uh, Cyborg. Yeah, um, that was good. Flash was far better in this version. He wasn't so annoying. I yeah. thought he came off more like personable. Um, I liked the... The slow motion was cool. It got a little bit much at times, like the hot dog scene where the the ladies flying out of the car. It's like okay, this is they could have cut that whole scene for me. Yeah, but like the the Amazon attack was way cooler. Where mm-hmm. Steppenwolf, who is far better in this version, yeah, looked way cooler, looked more menacing. And we find out he's not even like the big bad boss. No, uh-uh. I forgot the name of the other me guy too. But no, he's not the big bad boss. Yeah. There's another guy, right? Who's yeah. looking for That's something? That's what manipulates and, uh, Superman, right? Yeah, he manipulates Superman. Who's so easy? Doomsday? Is it Doomsday? No, it ain't Doomsday. No, I forgot his name, but it's a it's a main guy. The chat will correct us. I thought it was Doomsday. Maybe uh, we're getting them confused with something else. But no, there was one more guy. But that one guy. Oh, Dark Side. Dark Side. Dark Side is the one who goes heads and. Okay, Doomsday Superman. is the CG character from the last one. I don't know. Yeah, what no, Dark Side yeah. manipulates Superman. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I thought that this was just a far better. Like it ran nicer. Motivations made more sense. Uh, villains were threatening this time. And we get uh, Superman in this cool black suit. Yeah, he comes out. That fight's suit. a little bit better. It doesn't look as cringy. And uh, yeah, I just... It, it definitely was the better of the two versions. And it's sadly pretty high on my DCEU list. Do you want to watch a um, DCEU marathon? No. Me either. I would never... Yeah. I, I don't... I'm going to ask somebody that one. But day. to be fair, I don't want to do like an MCU marathon either. I can watch Civil War again. That's a good idea. Yeah, but you said a marathon, so that's all the movies. But I watched Civil War. And I, I think it's a marathon. Yeah. Over <laughs> that's, all, that's all of them. That's all of them. Civil yeah. War. Civil War is my favorite one. All right, next on our list is Aquaman. I haven't seen you it. You haven't before. seen it, so we just gave it a default 11 spot. Yeah, I haven't seen Aquaman. Uh, what, what's funny is the next two movies on this list you haven't seen, mm. so we won't spend too much time on them because uh, I don't like talking to myself too much. But no? even those two movies aren't in your dead last spot. We'll get to what your last spot is. Um... And that's funny because you haven't seen them. No. So you just know that they won't be as bad as you're watching. Okay, so Aquaman is too long. It's like two and a half hours. Of a man in a, in a fish suit. Of, of Jason Momoa kind of, you know, saying bro and permission to come aboard and a bunch of lame jokes. Um, there are a lot of plots. Yeah. There's like the Manta character with that shoots a laser out of his face. Some stuff just doesn't translate well. It just, you I, know, it, it definitely, I don't know why I didn't see it, because usually, you know, I see everything. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't see it, but that one I definitely didn't go see. It's kind of like Namor with the wings on the feet. Yeah, but Namor so, was actually cool. Yeah, though. you like Namor fine. Yeah. But even so, the wings on the feet are kind of silly. The they don't the translate, don't it's kind of like Wolverine with the yellow spandex and the blue underwear. Yeah. I'm glad they never did that, because it just doesn't work well in a live action film. Time. They've never done it. They haven't? No, okay. because that would look silly. Oh. Blue underwear with a yellow spandex suit. But he definitely had a yellow one one time, didn't he? Never. One of those? Never. Oh, okay. They I teased it in the second Wolverine. I think it's just called The Wolverine. Yeah. When they open like the, the thing at the end and he's got like the helmet and the gloves or whatever. Yo, he does wear a helmet in the damn thing. You're right. I'm he sure. never wears it. He never wears it. The but they show right. it. And even then, it's the more classic look where it's more um, brownish yellow. I don't think there's any sort of blue underwear in that version of the character. That one might work. But I'm regardless... Sure it's just kind of a silly, bloated film. It's got shades of great parts. Um, I think James Wan directed it. Mm-hmm. He does the. Isn't uh? He did like the Conjuring. Yeah, I was and, about to say. Um, yeah, James Wan. And some of the Saw movies, I think, or maybe it's. Hostile. He did the first I think one. It's, yeah, I think it's. Uh, yeah. Anyway, there are some cool horror elements in the movie. So at some points, I'm like, "Damn, this looks really good. It's lit well. Mm-hmm. There's some cool creature design." But then other times it's just... It just loses you? It loses you. It's so silly and bombastic. Wildly inconsistent film. Side note of news. James Wan and Blumhouse together. That's all I'm going to say. Next. Have they not worked on a movie together? No, they're coming together now. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're coming together. I do like James Wan, though, as a director. I just think uh, he probably... The, the takeaway I got from Aquaman was James Wan wanted to make this movie, but he wanted to make it in like seven different ways. And he's like, I'm only going to get one shot at this, so I'm just going to do all of them. I'm going to do Bro. every genre in one movie. James Wan is a really good independent horror filmmaker. I think if you give him too much money, he goes wild. Yeah. Um, so then the next one you haven't seen is Shazam. Oh, I'm Shazam. sorry. I put that in the eight spot. Aquaman is number eight for me. Uh, the next one on the list is Shazam. You gave this the 10 because you haven't seen I haven't it. I have seen Shazam. I gave it a, in the 6th spot. Shazam's fine. It's like middle of the road movie. That's the Guardians get, of the Galaxy. 
Uh, no, I don't get that feel from it. You didn't? From the trailer, no, I got that. No, not at all. It's it's not near as colorful. Okay. It's still got kind of a little bit of the Snyder look to mm. it. Um, it's definitely poppier, but there's some dark shit in that movie. Really? Yeah, some of the tone in that is wildly off. Okay, I might check that out. I like the dark shit, so I might check that out. It's just it's just funny, because you go from a scene where they're kind of cracking jokes in a, in a gas station mm -hmm. to a next scene at a board meeting, and there's these evil looking creatures that just slaughter the place it's like oh it shit out. they just killed all these people and it was really kind of vicious well shazam's definitely on my list now that i'll watch i'll check that out yeah i mean it's got likable leads uh, it's got kid actors which a lot of people get worried about but mm -hmm. all the kids were really enjoyable they did a good job um, check that out. the final act is the only thing that kind of loses some points for me it kind of goes that lame final superhero boss yeah. thing where it's like the power of love and friendship bring these guys together well so, i have to watch yeah. it because the number one movie is my favorite right so, so you I have, have to watch, watch it. it yeah anyway shazam six spot now we go to birds of prey after that i have a good one for that one okay birds of prey i have it number five you have it number seven mm -hmm. so we're pretty close on this we're why don't you go ahead door. birds of prey was really good it started off great great character development with the girl who can scream i forgot her name but it had her that was really good character development the thing i didn't like birds about birds of prey it started to drag Towards, I think it was like the third act. It started to just, like, just start to slow down. And the I was third like, act what? is pretty Yo, brutal. Yeah, yeah, it starts to I slow agree. down a lot. It's almost like going up fast and you get hit with traffic and you start to slow down. Like, mm -hmm. but it's like that's the best analogy I can give. It really slowed down a lot. I fully agree. And yeah. it, from a, um, I don't, like a choreography standpoint, that fight in the end was, was miserable. Bad. Yeah, I agree. We'll I believe I that. read. Which means it's true, because yeah. I read it on the internet. You can read? Yeah. Well, a little oh, bit. A little bit. Um, that they had some of the crew from, what is it, John Wick help out with the choreography. <laughs> Not in the final stuff, clearly. Yeah. But there's a scene, It's I think it's mostly the Harley solo fights. So, like, okay. when she gets, like, high on cocaine yeah. and takes the bat, she's, like, breaking legs and shit. I think that was John Wick okay. uh, directed, and also the scene where she's in the prison, and she's fighting the guys in slow yeah, motion, sliding through the water. That, that third act, though, was brutal. Yeah, not that Pee Wee, Pee Wee's Playhouse bullshit. Where no. That was like Batman and Robin stuff, where there's colorful things going on, and guys are on rollerblades. Well, that's just, what I'm saying. It yeah. had me. I was high-fiving the whole movie yeah. until it got to that last part, and then it just it lost me. Like that's, When I go into like a blank, I'm just like, yeah, it's yeah. losing me. Like, it um, lost me. But Margot Robbie in that is fantastic. Yeah. She's a national treasure. I thought it was good. Though. I wouldn't mind seeing yeah. a part two to that. It's just got kind of a. It's got like a funner, um, simpler storyline. You know, there's simple. no like laser beam. No, there's no aliens simple. coming. It's there's a stone. The guy's after it. Yeah. The one girl ate it. She's got to shit it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. It seems like I a, thought it was good. It seems like a Harley Quinn type of movie. Um, okay, I want you to think about this now. Okay, please. So you have Shazam, which I didn't see, which is kind of comical. Yeah. Then we have Birds of Prey, which is kind of comical. Sure. Guardians of the Galaxy. Do you they're, not see the whole... Not, there's do no... Do you not see the comedic thing going on here? There's no tie, though, as far no, as... No, what I'm saying is that they found their little shit on the wall. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I they definitely lightened things up. They, they found had shit to, on the Because wall. I think BVS, even though it made a ton of money, mm -hmm. was not well-received from most critics, and it split the fans, for sure. Batman vs. Superman? Batman vs. Superman. Fucking horrible. Right. Yeah, it's a horrible So movie. they looked at that and like, oh, shit, we went a little too, too much. Too much, yeah. We, we got to pull back. So then every movie after... They basically like started reining things in. Even Suicide Squad mm -hmm. was way darker. That's yeah. why they wanna they want the director's cut of Suicide Squad because they lighted it up, they punched it up, they added a bunch of Eminem music and pop music to get people more on board. But let me ask you a question: You don't think that yeah. the editing is kind of the blame for a lot of these movies that we're talking about here? Oh, absolutely. I think studio interference and editing. Is if you're not gonna let the director like carry out their vision, yeah, then what's the point? You know. But there's a there's a thing to that though. Zack Snyder and the Snyder Cut carried out his vision, and it was definitely some scenes I would edit out of there. Oh, for sure. But at the end of the for day, sure. though, I'm saying that it should these movies got to be tighter because you like I said, you grab me and then I hit traffic and I'm dying out. There needs to be better collaboration. Yeah. I mean, you also can look at like George Lucas, who clearly had full creative control on the mm -hmm. prequel movies. Yeah, those are horrible. Yeah, movies. maybe there should have been less yes men and a couple yeah. people that were like, "Yo, dude, maybe uh, maybe we don't do midichlorians." Well, to be maybe honest, we don't do like you know him slaughtering a bunch of younglings and then we're still propping yeah. him up like he's kind of a good dude. Well, I'll put it to this way, man. My same reasoning. And I know this is going off topic. We'll go for Quentin Tarantino as well. Okay. I think that Quentin needs a no man instead of a yes man because I I agree with that. When you go past certain amount of movies, it gets out of hand. 
Yeah. Like, like for instance, the, the Hollywood one, out of hand. Yeah, I didn't like that movie. Uh, I think you said you like Hateful Eight, right? I like Hateful Eight. I fucking hated it. I like Hateful Eight because it was a different type of film. It was Still clearly... Still long as hell. It's a little long, but I don't. I don't know. And this is funny because I don't like. I don't like plays. I don't like. And that going was like to, a play. I don't like going to stage plays. Me either. But that was <laughs> something about it worked for me. No, I didn't like the, that. Saw... The, the snappy dialogue, the kind of uh, who done it style, where um, there's a bunch of these ragtag characters, and you're not sure sure who the villain is until you know later on. I don't know. Something about it worked. Well, I took a girl to see, and she fell asleep. I believe it. She fell it asleep. definitely is not a movie that I would recommend to a lot of people. Yeah, she fell asleep. Yeah. And when I walked out the movie, everybody was pissing the and, bitches like me. And again, like Kill Bill is one of my favorite That's movies. That's a good one. That's but then a really Kill good Bill one. Volume Two completely drops the fucking yeah. ball because he had to subvert expectations in the last half hour. Two was trash. That's where. Two was trash. That's to where she point, does the thing. To your point, you got to have a little bit of. You got to have somebody says no. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have somebody. But says what you no. don't want is a studio that says, "Hey, change your entire movie." That's the difference, I think. I think we can. I agree. think you need a personal no friend. Yeah, like someone so. who knows your style. Yeah, and be like, nah, bro. You like, need like a much. you need like a movie wife or something. Yeah, you need yeah. a personal no friend. Yeah. yeah, like DC needs a personal no. Friend. So Birds of Prey, I know it bombed. It did not do well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that it had a lot of bad will going in. Um, yeah. People were already kind of like put off by the original Suicide Squad movie. I don't think they liked it. Uh, and I, I just don't think Birds of Prey really appealed to a lot of people. It had a, I don't know. It was just kind of, the marketing wasn't very good. I said it was that. a good movie, but the third act is, it's, that's the taste that I have in my mouth when I'm yeah. laughing. Speaking of good taste in your mouth, Wonder <laughs> Woman 1984. Bro, I know you've seen that movie. That movie's trash. Um, you have that in your 12 spot? Yeah, I know. I so have that in my trash. 12 spot. Bro, that... I watched a piece of that movie and turned it off. This is where I, I look back on Patty Jenkins, who did both Wonder Woman 1 and this one, and think, what the fuck happened? It was definitely a straight-to-DVD, as we would say. And that's days. why I would say, and, and you know, this is actually shitty to say, so I, I should probably not, but I think that Snyder probably did have a pretty big hand in the first Wonder Woman. Yeah. That's at least, the, the, that's what I'm telling me in my head, because I just can't fathom how you go from a really solid movie to something so bad all around. It was bad, dude. Like I said, I turned it off. I watched pieces of yeah. movies. That, remember, that's when um, HBO was going this, the, the COVID time when they were doing it straight to... That was the first one that they did. Uh, that's right. Yes, that's that was right. The first My one. family was super excited to watch this. Dude, it was wintertime. It was cold. Yes. Good it was movie like, to watch. Everybody watched Saturday. it. Everybody oh, watched bro. it. That was like the new Matrix. That was I remember like, taking my daughter, who at the time was probably nine, mm-hmm. to the original Wonder Woman. Now... Kind of like home. Black Panther for black people, Wonder Woman legitimately was one of the only female superhero movie icons for girls. Really? There really is nothing else for superhero movies. Oh, interesting. Can you name any? Birds of Prey? This is before Birds of Prey. Oh, I'm talking about the original Prey. Wonder Woman. See, I never... Yeah. So the you, original Wonder Woman was good, but... So uh, all you have is that. like Supergirl, that shitty ass... No, Supergirl we got movie. Electra. Exactly. Electra is yeah, amazing. Nobody bro. likes Electra. That's a good ass Nobody movie. likes Electra. You have like maybe three or four female led superhero movies if we're counting like Tank Girl and some of that garbage. Tank right, of course. So Wonder Tank Woman was trash. really the first big budget, like Yeah, I'm trying to think. Huge I gotta film. Think yeah. Anyway, I took I took movie. my daughter Olivia to it and man, she lit up. She was so fired up from that movie and really? she was like, Wonder Woman's my favorite. I love this movie. And as a father, it was really cool. It was an awesome moment. Now we fast forward a couple years to this dog shit sequel. Dude, Wonder Woman 1984 is definitely bad. And my bro. daughter left the couch during it. She's like, I'm out. <laughs> I told you what I just said. Did I watch yeah. a piece of it and turned it off? I was yeah. Like, I'm good on that she's one. like, I'm out. I'm done. And she's I'm never sorry. really had any motivation to watch another Wonder Woman thing again, which Black is too bad. I love Meteor Man. I like Meteor Man. Meteor Man's You good. know what? I like Meteor Man, but it's a terrible movie, but I like but it. But it's good, though. It's like, What's well, the other one with It's Daniel not Wayans. good. It's not good. No, it's good. You it's got a, Cosby in there as like a yeah, homeless Cos- dude? Remember Cosby, uh, Leonard Part 6? No. You need to watch that. Ghost Dad? Fucking Ghost Dad. <laughs> he was in Ghost Dad. He was in... No, I need to watch Leonard Part 6. Can we talk about the scene in Meteor Man? My favorite scene as a kid was the dance-off at the end. Dude, that movie sucks. To be so fucking dumb. Yeah. Meteor Man is leave Meteor it to hey, trash. leave it to a black superhero movie Bro. that when the black superhero does some work for a while, he has to sleep to recharge. Dude, I put it to this way. And, and like this, is the to the, this is to the audience, yo. Yo, this is to the audience, man. Like, 
I did work for the day. I oh. got to sleep for like 48 Bro, hours. No, no, no. This is for the audience, show. <laughs> Some movies I might say are good, and then when I have the scene that's mentioned in it, I might be like, nah, that movie is kind of trash. Like, you get what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. so long oh, ago. Yeah. Me and my so brother used like, to yeah, Me and my brother used to go. I'm like, nah, it's Medium trash. Man! We just like call each other Bro, out. Nah, there's another one too with Damon Wayans. I forgot that movie's even worse. You didn't like that? That movie's terrible. Dude, that shit was funny. No. Man. Were there like the dumb yeah. Batman and Robin type characters? Was funny, man. Handyman. No, Handyman was the was it Handyman? Handyman was the In Living Color skit show. That yeah. was hilarious. And super inappropriate, where he would, Bro. where he was a handicapped character, and he would just fall out the window to fly. No, there's, a, there's another. What was I the know name of that movie because they had like garbage. They had uh, yellow capes, and um, they were seriously like Batman and Robin, like colorful, stupid versions. God, what was I that don't called? Remember it. Uh, I, mean, I don't remember the name of it because he had a plunger for a weapon. Right now, yeah. He had a plunger for a right weapon. Now. We got a blank fraction. man. Blank, blank man. man. Blank Man, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah Blank Man's amazing. Sure glad we got there and lost yeah. everybody watching right now. I don't know why we got off track. But Wonder Woman, um, for some reason, they changed the entire vibe from the first movie. Now it's like a super colorful poppy film. She basically date rapes a guy um, by wishing Whoa. her boyfriend from the original, Chris Pine, back. Oh, that's how he comes back? She wishes him back, and he takes over the body of another real human man. I didn't even know that. So she sees this guy as Chris Pine, but he's not. It's like me. Because I was wondering how they brought him back. Because I didn't, like I said, I turned well, it they, off. Well, they man. didn't. It was like a vision. So uh. she's sleeping with another dude that's not him. And so at the end, he's like, you got to let me go. She's like, okay. And he leaves, and then the real guy's back. He's like, what happened? <laughs> The action was one. bad. I, it just everything about it was really miserable. It's a shame. It's, it's just a damn shame. All right, now we get to The Suicide Squad. This is the James Gunn film. Mm. You got King Shark. It was, I thought King Shark You got Harley Quinn. You got Idris Elba. I thought King Shark As, um, what's his character? Idris Elba's character. Or Idris Elba. I, I never know how to it's say his Idris name. Idris Elba. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, Idris okay. Elba. Um, he plays, not Deathstroke, but someone kind of like him. He's like the best of the best at yeah. killing things. It, it, it bothers me that I can't it's think of his name. No. No. I don't know. It's like the third version of Deathstroke. I'm trying to look to see if somebody in the chat knows. Someone will tell us in a little bit. Anyway, it's a great cast. You got Polka Dot Man in there. He's funny. He, he got his quick though. Uh, yeah, but... Spoiler. <laughs> I lo- Bloodsport. Thank Blood you. Bloodsport, yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, tell him his name. Thank you, Meddling Monk. Oh, spicy. Bloodsport, the original movie, is really good, too. Bloodsport, the movie, yeah, with G- Jean-Claude Van Damme. I saw it in the movies with my dad. We were around the same age, yeah. so were you a Jean-Claude Van Damme fan? Uh, yes. I was a super fan. And then when Steven Seagal came out, it just blew my mind. I hated Steven Seagal. Really? Yeah, Above I never liked law? him. I, I always found him to be a poser, and it turns out he was. Dude, can you ever understand a word he says no. when he talks? Uh, you polluted my land. Yeah. You raped the animals. I'm going to take you down. And then he does his moves mm, so He does fast. his like, slow-mo. It, like, they move. speed everything up. <laughs> JVC John Claude though he's like freaking doing splits on oil drums and he's he's roundhouse kicking dudes into oblivion. Do you see his movie that he made fun of himself? Yeah, JV, JCVD. Yeah. yeah, it's so yeah, good. That's a good movie. John but like is hard target. Hard target. Uh, what what's the Commando one? Oh, I forgot which one that is. But Cyborg is it just called is, Commando? No, no, no. Cyborg. Have you seen Cyborg? Yeah, I've seen Cyborg. Cyborg yeah, is oh, I've seen all of his shit. Yeah, Cyborg is really hard. Hard Target's still my favorite. I'd put Cyborg at Bloodsport. I think it's... What's the one where he gets dropped onto a remote island and they hunt him? Which one was that? I remember that, too. Yeah, that one's sweet. I'm going to have to Google that one. They, they take prisoners and they drop them on an exactly island. I know exactly what talking about. And then it's like the greatest hunt is yeah, man. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's a sweet movie. But no, Cyborg, to me, is one of his best ones. That and Bloodsport. Okay, anyway, back to the Suicide Squad. James Gunn makes a sequel, but kind of. It's, it's, like it's basically like a soft reboot. Yeah, say, a he reboot. introduces like Captain Boomerang and some of the dumbasses from the first one. Kills them off right away. Let's the audience know this is a hard R film this time <laughs> around. We're, 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 we're cleaning house. The shark we got new characters. Funny. Stallone is King Shark. He does the voice. Fantastic. I, um, I, I don't know. You got John Cena in there? He's John hilarious. In there. He's in his tidy whiteies. Yeah, kicking Cena. ass. And then Peacemaker, the spinoff, fantastic show. I'm still watching that, believe it. It's me. good. I'm still watching that. I haven't even watched that whole thing yet. James Gunn, man, his uh, his music choices are just tight every time. Well, that's what I'm saying. James Gunn's yeah. going to bring this thing back. He's going to bring it back. He's going to bring it back, man. Anyway, I really like The Suicide Squad. I've seen it multiple times, and even though I couldn't tell you the name of uh, Bloodsport when it first started. <laughs> John Clark Van Damme's the original guy. Yeah, I heard about that. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to subsequent se- sequels in the future. 
Dude, you know what I'm looking forward to? What? The last movie that we're talking about today. Let's get to it. Black Adam. I'm I saving all my energy for this part here because I know I have to go at him with this. I was generous and I put this at the seven spot. I put it at number one. I know. You saw it three times. I saw it three times. Two times in the movie theater, one time at home. You liked it because there's a lot of action. Fucking a ton of action. A lot of action. A lot of action. It's not boring, not at all. Now, of course, the dialogue is kind of shitty. Of course, the kid in the movie is kind of shitty. I give you that. Yeah. So I'm going to throw all the stuff on the table. Yeah. But what else do you have? I think what we're learning today is... I really want to know. You like fun... Something that keeps my attention. You like fun, spicy movies that don't really Dude. have a lot of depth. And that's fine. What? And Dude, that's that shit fine. does have depth. <laughs> it's fucking Black Adam. Dude, that shit does have depth. That's a lot of depth. Are you kidding me? Black Adam's amazing. Just yeah. Like, um, I, I just don't have... Like, I feel like I've already said everything I want to say about what this What about film. the Hawkman? Yeah, what about him? He was good! Can you explain to me how he's even able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Black Adam? I personally think Hawkman, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, I think Hawkman has one of those Captain America powers. Great. He can do stuff. So you've seen it three times and it's you're amazing. just you're thinking this. You still don't you know. know. The movie it, hasn't painted a picture director, at all for the you. The director wanted me to understand what's going on so I can, you know, boggle it up in my mind and say, does he or doesn't he? That's the mystery. Was that his house, the X-Men mansion? Was, Dude, that, that, his, was, was that his place? That was his place, yeah. And, and the X-Men yeah, plane that he he's has? Rich as okay, we don't know why, though. Yeah, but when he comes out the plane and jumps down and says, I'll be right back. The shot oh, from Black man. Panther? It's amazing. It's the same fucking shot from yeah. Black Panther. It's he the did same it. shot. He did it better. <laughs> Drops he down in the... Oh, my god, Dude, he did it way better. Black what? Adam is amazing. All right, stuff, dude. you're just a hater. Don't Watch my good. review of Black Adam. It's I think I did. A movie. I think I did a spoiler you review did. too. You did both. I just I'm exhausted even thinking about the movie because Black so Adam many things really happen. I will, Hulk, man. I will say I like Doctor Fate. He was fine. He was. Good. I like Doctor Fate. People were pissed because I I, I joked. I'm like. Doctor Strange 2.0. And he is like, Doctor Strange 2.0. Doctor Fate came out before Doctor Strange. I'm talking about in the movies. Yeah, he is Doctor Jack Strange Jackasses. They killed Obviously, them off. Obviously, I'm talking about in the movies. They shouldn't have killed him off. He, no, they he shouldn't. Was a good ass actor. Man, what good, is with these? Yeah, I don't know why they killed him What is with these people taking the best characters and killing them off? You don't take the best characters like Killmonger. And, and kill him off. off in the first movie. Yeah, that made no sense to me. Oh that my no gosh, just don't get me started on no the sense. decisions. But back to Black Adam, though. Okay. I gotta it's know amazing. why you didn't like it. I've already said why I didn't no, like no, it. No, 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 no. Give me a good specific reason of, yo, this is why I did not like Black Adam. You I've already, one. like, pushed the film out of my mind. I would have to go back and watch my review to even, like, remember Dude, the Black film. Black Adam is amazing. All I know is while the movie was going, I was just sitting there thinking, what the fuck? fuck is this movie about what yeah, this guy like is it. this guy is lied dormant up in a mountain and a team of archaeologists or something go up there they awaken him and then profit like I, I just don't even know what the movie's about i think she was trying to find the helmet you think you've seen it three yeah, times I did say three times i'm trying to figure out i think they were trying to find the helmet or something but long story short right i'm just a saying, good ass fucking there's movie. no plot that i can like wrap it's my balls though. around right <laughs> i can't get around. my dick around it all i all i remember is this annoying kid i remember zombies and shit rising up from the ground dude, black satan's good. in there dude black Adam's a really you don't movie. make satan the bad guy the first movie where do you go from there Dude, but the whole point now is the build-up between him and Shazam. Well, he's, well, Rocker Heard doesn't want Shazam. In the <laughs> movies. That's what I've heard. I don't know how true that is, but I heard that he doesn't want him in the movies. I just, I just. You didn't hear that? No, yeah, he. Yeah. I always hear stuff, whether it's true or not. I don't know. So I just am like, okay, we'll see what the movie well, shows us. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, correct, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. wrong. Yeah, I will. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, Black Adam. I, I just forgot everything about it, other than there's a lot of fighting. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Hawk, Hawk guy or Hawkman fights Hawk him 17 good. times. Hawk he really, really hates Black Adam for it's reasons really... I can't possibly comprehend. Yeah, I don't understand why you hate him either on that part. I do give you that. Yeah, one. I don't know why you uh, hate him so much. Yeah, so it's yeah. just it's just there. I liked it though. It was really it's entertaining. Good. I saw it three times. It's entertaining. Kind of like Suicide Squad. I saw it three times. Kind of like the other movies you really like. So fair enough. I saw it three times. Anyway, that's our ranking of the DCEU. Let us know. Let us know how far gone we are, or if we're spot on. One of us has to be right. I'm not telling the terrorizing my vote that I'm the spot on one. To be honest, one of us is right, and I think it's probably the lighter skinned gentleman in the no, room. No, it's probably me. Black is in right now. No well, black is the black, <laughs> black is the new black. Black is the new black. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. 
What's the name of this podcast? Because I forgot. Movies with my black friend. Movies with my black friend. Movies with my black friend. I'm Adam. Adam. I'm DJ Bless. Where can they find you? Where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Sutter Kane uh, NSD. You can find me on YouTube, Sutter Kane NSD. Kane is spelled K A I N, and you got N S D. Same uh, hashtag for all of them. All, all around. All I'll them. put links in the description on YouTube so you'll be able to find it that Same way. Same thing as on well. Spotify, Sutter Kane. Uh, it's been fun. It's been fun, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Definitely appreciate you. Until right. next time. Peace.